It's time for Monday Morning Munchies on The Morning X. Hey, what's up? It is the Monday Morning Munchies. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in this week. And Jen, the Star Wars nerd, joining us as always. You can follow her on her socials right there. And uh, we're going to be trying some Oreos today. We're big fans of Oreos. I guess oh, the they don't Oreos. like being called Oreo cookies, though. It's just Oreo. They Did are you know just that? in a class all their own. Yes. Um, and yes. they've... They've kind of developed this cult following, and and people are always wondering kind of what comes next with Oreo. Um, And they've had some interesting flavors. We've tried a ton of them over the years. This one is kind of a throwback. It's a a bring back. Uh, These are the limited edition gingerbread Oreos. Oh, there you got the better picture there. Pretty. So these have been uh, revamped, and they were available a few years ago. I want to say 2012, and then they're bringing them back. I feel like it was only a few years ago, though. I I, I feel like too. Yeah, they were they were around a few years ago. I'm sure they. Yeah. Were. So these ones are available right now in the U.S. I believe Canada is getting them. We just haven't gotten them yet. Gotcha. Um, we had them before, back in the day. So there's no reason we shouldn't have them now. Um, I'm gonna break these. Open, I, like, I, I like that there's a little gingerbread man on the uh, on the back of the cookie too. Mine says Oreos for Santa. Okay, yeah, they oh, said five different Santa. designs. Oh, I got a Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Oh, Look dang. at that! I didn't know that. That's cool. Yep. So they made them fancier this year. Um, so th- it's weird because it looks like they have little like red flecks, like candy. Yeah. Candy what's flecks. that about? Oh, it says cream with crunchy sugar crystals. <laughs> what's that about? What the hell is that? So I brought some. I brought some milk with me too because oh, you can't get cook without milk. Well, and show us how you eat your Oreo. You gotta do it. Yeah. Well, that's that's oh. the way I do it with the milk. Oh, he's sloppy. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to scrape the cream off. Oh, that's good with milk. I want to see Mark's tongue skills, though. No, we don't. We don't. No, we don't. <laughs> we just don't. <laughs> um, now, with milk, that's delicious. I would imagine with milk, these would be even better. Oh, they are, are delicious. These are very good. These are probably one of my favorite Oreos. Um, and like, I like gingerbread. It's not like, oh my God, gingerbread. But these are very good, very gingery taste, not fake tasting at all. Right. Uh, okay, you're getting very sensual. It curled. Chris, how's Ooh. that for being clean? That's good. Solid. Ooh. Yeah, I saw you watching my video and you worked on it. Jen is a very lucky lady. <laughs> Tell her. Tell her. <laughs> oh you know what, goodness. though? I don't like just the cream. It's Mm-mm. better with the cookie. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I agree. This, this is one of those where you need it all together. It ties the room together, you know? Like I pushed mine back together for that same reason. Now, I'm going to try Uh-oh. just dunking the cookie in the milk. I'm going to dunk right. it in a coffee because I think this would be good in coffee, too. Oh, and then it would make your coffee kind of have that gingerbread taste. Yeah, you need it all together, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but these are amazing. Mm-hmm. I really recommend these. These are, are quite delicious. They're very... With milk. Um, with milk. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and have one with milk after this. But there, it gets away from that whole peppermint. Everything's peppermint at Christmas. And they do have their peppermint Oreos are out... <laughs> Uh, as well for the holidays but this is like a little bit different it's another holiday flavor that i really enjoy um the big flavor though and we're going to be trying a few things over the next few weeks um once you guys are finished stuffing your faces (laughs) i'm just we got this (laughs) um the next big the next big flavor Seems to be this year's sugar cookie. So this is pretty exciting. Um, in the next few weeks, we're going to try the the new items. But there's also another new uh, sugar cookie chocolate that just came out from Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli? Ghirardelli? Um, the white Gira chocolate. Or Gira or I think it's Ghirardelli. I think it's Gira. Uh, yeah. Ghirardelli. Potato, potato. Uh, so the white chocolate sugar cookies are just starting to hit shelves now in the U S and they sound delicious. Anything, you know, sugar cookie to me, we we've tried different, um, sugar cookie things over the years and 
they tend to be pretty solid a little sweet but but pretty solid so <laughs> moving right along jesus you hungry bro <laughs> long hey, show this morning eh i was supposed to save some for aiden uh-oh i'll bring aiden some later uh -oh. I got I, I got a couple boxes. These actually came to me from Missouri. Guy's not even biting them. Just <laughs> you just <laughs> when you got a mouth that big, why not? Oh um... <laughs> big head, big mouth. You know, <laughs> oh, not a good time. And a strong tongue. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. All that I've matters. been told that for many years. That I mean, like a Gene Simmons tongue. It's a, it's a good thing to be known for, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, moving right, right along. Uh, we've got more holiday talk with everything holiday now. Everything is just Christmas all over the place. We're over uh, Halloween. And um, we're also moving on to, I don't even know at this point. I can't. Just, Are you done, Mark? I'm done. Oh. Unfortunately. <laughs> all right. So um, we're moving on to balls now. Balls. I love balls. Yes. Th thank you. There we go. Jen's <laughs> specialty. So the new chocolate from Lindor this year, the limited edition hot cocoa uh, mm -hmm. Lindor balls. And, you know, I'm a fan of balls. I can't wait to get my hands on those ones. Those look really good. I think now, they'll have like a marshmallow creamy yes. center. Tell me about that creamy center. Well, you when you bite into it, it kind of just all just Oh, so it is, an it is an oozy. It is an oozy. Yes, okay. it's an oozy. Now, if you sick, uh, suck and lick long enough, would it still ooze, or do you have to bite to get to the cream? I think we're going to have to test that theory. Okay. I think I'm going to have to get my hands on these balls, and we're going to have to try them out. Because, Play with like, them a uh, bit. Like a yeah, roll, right? Yeah. And rolling around in your mouth. How many how licks? How many sucks on the ball? To and how many can you fit in your mouth, Jen? We're, again, we're going to have to... Last time we tried that with you, Chris, you yeah. almost choked and died. So yeah. yeah. That, let's not do the That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, Dangerous. I mean, we can. if I can get two solid ones in there, I think, you know, that's a good... Dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Can you rotate them while they're in your... Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, like you those... Know. The balls that you... The yeah, yeah. exercise balls in your hands. <laughs> yeah. Jen knew what I was talking about. I know what's up. <laughs> well, this has been a disaster. It makes an explaining <laughs> noise. Yeah. Uh, anyway, okay, okay. Well, moving on. And they did. They All made right. like a little chiming noise. And sorry, those were hot cocoa Lindor balls. Yes, hot cocoa Lindor balls. And Which those are again just hitting shelves now in the U.S. I, I think those have been around before as well. I feel hmm. like I saw them. I don't know if I've ever tried those though. Last year we had creme brulee ones. I remember I brought those uh, yes. in. Back gotcha. when we could see each other. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I will I will make all deliveries for you guys over the next uh, couple of weeks. Hopefully, we'll get our hands the on those. Thank we'll you. Try. More gingerbread cookies, please. I will uh, drop off more gingerbread cookies. All right. Um, um, before Mark, what glass is that? A shot glass of milk you were drinking on? It's a kid's uh, glass. Oh, okay. My bad. It's Aiden's guy. Gotcha. Got yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just a little shot glass of milk. Yeah. <laughs> milk out of glass. I need like the Tupperware oh, plastic. Okay. I don't know why. It's um, like a childhood it, memory or yeah. something. Yeah, and I have certain forks and spoons that I use for certain foods. Uh, it's it's a weird thing that my wife hates. Really? Um, I have certain knives, certain plates. I have like... I, I can respect that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have uh, like some of these plates though, they're like ghetto plates. Like my wife hates it. It's like crappy blue plastic Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, I need that plate for certain things. Yep. It's very strange. Very strange. I like a good weighted fork for certain things. It has to have a certain weight to it. I don't like flimsy forks. I used nope. to have this awesome TV tray as well. Um, but my wife and somebody looking at you, Jen, the Star Wars nerd, uh, got together and <laughs> threw the beautiful TV tray in the garbage when they were supposedly going to a spinning class. Um, okay, in my defense, I just of, held the camera while she yeah. threw it in the well, dumpster. You, you know, accomplice. All right, you were an accomplice. So guilt by association. Yep. That beautiful TV tray. Yeah. Uh, my it's grandparents my have the exact same one. I can steal you one back. No, I'm not getting into it. She's gonna. I tried hiding the TV tray. I told Jen that I had threw it out. So this <laughs> is how it all started. She asked me to throw it out. So I put it by the road. She saw it when she left for work. 
Well, then when I got home, it was still there um, because they hadn't come to take the garbage yet. So I took it, hid it in the garage. Well, Jen went in there one day, found the TV tray and then put it in the back of her Jeep and took it to a dumpster with Jen, the Star Wars nerd, threw it out, (laughs) sent me one last photo. Which is even worse. Like now you're. Oh, showing- that's just taunting you. Yeah, that's yeah. taunting you. Um, the- um, did you bring this out in public? Like, did, when guests were over, would you bring this out, or was this just for, almost for you and you wanted it? Like, I with TV trays. Yeah, but saying- like, yeah, the TV trays. Yeah, I'd bring them out. Why is that bad? Yeah, I can see where she's coming is from. It a little white trash. Yeah, I use TV trays, but just like when I'm just by myself or just me and, and the your, girlfriend. Yeah, but that, <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, whatever. I, I think you did it to yourself in a way. I probably did. Now I'm tearing, she always threatens. She's like, I'm going to throw out those plates. I'm going to throw that spoon out or that fork out. Don't mess with me. So you just better to stay on the good side of the Sicilian. So I would, I I'm, I feel very guilty about my uh, accomplished no, status. No, you, you know what? And I forgot about it until today. And you know what? I never got you back for doing that. Um, so your time will come. <laughs> All right. You throw That's out something to mine. People when it's recorded. <laughs> yeah. You throw something of mine out. I'm throwing something of yours out. I'm coming after you. You yeah. can take Joe if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you throw my TV chair. I'm throwing out your husband. That's Just it. take a picture yeah. before you do it. <laughs> Or I'm stealing your dog. Your dog's mine now. I love oh, no. you. Now, <laughs> taking my husband is one thing. <laughs> taking my dog, no. I mean, granted, I probably drank about 80 of your Keurig K-Cups over the years. So um, maybe we're even. Oh, maybe. this is another thing. This is a, I got it. Jen, can I buy a K-Cup off of you? Do you just, just want a cup of coffee? That's all I want. I can make you. But a I cup know of that it's never just one. Like Chris even knows it's never just one. It's like four. You know, like I can't, I can't just believe the amount of coffee that you can drink like after eight p.m. It just blows my mind, and Thank still you. go to sleep at a reasonable time. I uh, yesterday I had a extreme. It was like triple the caffeine beaned coffee. It was awesome, and I had it at about nine p.m. Fell right asleep. It did not. I actually slept better. So caffeine almost really, yeah, is opposite effect. Because I was just gonna say, ask, like, is that a waste at that time? Like no. triple the caffeine and then you're just going no, to bed. It was great. It needs it. Was great. it. Got yeah. it from uh, ordered it online from Saskatoon of all places. Yeah, Saskatoon's known for their coffee. coffee. <laughs> Didn't you know? I, I drink instant, man. <laughs> all right. Well, there we go. Uh, great day. Thanks for bringing up, uh, you know, reminding me of the trade today. I'm going to go cry about it again. Um, and we'll, well talk I know what to get you for Christmas. A TV tray. Yes. Good there luck. Because go. someone in our, at the, uh, one of our other stations says you can't even find TV trays anymore. I'm going to just go dumpster diving and try to find one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right. On that note, we will talk to you later. You know, I shouldn't even post it, but there, go check her out on Facebook. Jen, the Star Wars nerd, all your nerd and junk food news all the time. It's the Monday Morning Munchies here with the Morning X and Jen, the Star Wars nerd. See ya.